Suspension trainers again. Uh, we're winding down our series on suspension trainers here at Theology Geek Fitness. Hi, I'm Jonathan Pritchett, and today I am going to talk about two. One you can't get anymore, and one you shouldn't get in the first place. No, this is not the Pocket Monkey, which is awesome, which I totally would have bought Wild Man Dan if they weren't sold out uh, at the time I was looking for my end-all, be-all suspension trainer. Uh, and as Providence would have it, it, that ended up being the T2 ISO trainer. But I did want to get this to see what I was missing out on. So I got a cheap Chinese knockoff that you can get at Amazon. You can still get it at Amazon. I'm not going to link to it in the description because it's crap. But it's also a, a bootleg. But th the reason why I did get it, uh, well, is because I wanted to see what am, is my world incomplete without the pocket monkey. And I wanted to see what, you know, I could not get a pocket monkey. So I got this and I discovered that my world is not incomplete without it. So I know for a fact the pocket monkey is better than this thing. This this thing is not that great. I mean, it holds up uh, okay, but it's not a great thing. But it is essentially somewhat of a uh, approximate of what imagining a pocket monkey would be if it was like of superior quality and man i just really love that company and i i, I just can't justify buying the pocket monkey because i i really don't see myself needing it uh, after having messed with this but the pocket monkey looks really cool this uh you know it just unhooks and then it unwraps and then you can pull out your suspension trainer and you know you can anchor it on the door or you can kind of wrap it around a pole and then do itself and it'll hang there you know um it's not very adjustable it doesn't have the the uh, um an extension thing the pocket monkey handles look really great these are horrible these are like think about the bottom feeder resistance tube kits that you can see on amazon for like Thirteen dollars. This is probably this this uh, handle is probably not even that good. Okay, but it does rotate. It does rotate. There's that. That's one thing that you can say is it will rotate. In, you know, around um, whatever this material is. Um, but you know, I did get this. Like I said, I wanted to see. Uh, Imagining that the strap quality, the handle quality, the anchor is better. Uh, imagining that you can adjust it more than like that much, you know. Uh, imagining the, what they call the bomber anchor to extend, you know, it's an extension strap to anchor it around trees or wherever you can. I mean, imagining those handles which are... You can get in different colors. It looks super slick, made out of awesome material that you can do pull-ups and dips on. Do not even try it with this knockoff. Don't buy this. Um, but like I said, if 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 just some suspension training and then throwing in some uh, pull-up fish movements uh, and uh, even uh, finagling some dips out of it, even though it's a single anchor point, uh, is your thing, you know? Uh, this could be... If you got the original pocket monkey from Wild Jim, could be a great thing because you know you can get a total body workout as as you can do with any suspension trainer. And I think that um, the pocket monkey is you know it's a little bit pricey, but they do have sales every now and then around the big holidays in the United States, so you can get it for some of a discount. It is pricey, but it, you know. It's it seems to be high quality. All the reviews are great, and I mean the footprint. If this was your only gym, besides maybe getting, uh, uh, like I said, at some point you really do need added weight for leg movements. Uh, but this could be. I mean, look at that. Uh, and this is garbage because this is a knockoff, ripoff idea of the pocket monkey. Uh, so it's all right you can do all your movements with it but i do not get it it is such garbage quality uh which is a shame because i really like i said i really like the wild gym company i really like the pocket monkey too uh it's just a bit pricey and having got this just to see am i is my life just totally incomplete without having because i love suspension trainers but 
alas, just the way that the uh, the universe unfolded providentially in God's timing, it was just uh, I was meant to be a T2 ISO trainer user uh, because I probably would not have uh, needed this or kept it anyway. T2 ISO trainer is awesome. Uh, and the Pocket Monkey 2 might be something for you because you don't need all the features of the T2, so check it out. Do not get the cheapy version from uh, Amazon. But if you're a patron, you can claim that one because no one else has claimed it. The other one is actually a suspension trainer I do like, um, and they don't sell it. This Instar, they're really a, a good company uh, as far as their resistance band bar is like one of the best rated bars for resistance bands uh, and resistance tubes. A lot of people use it. I know that the Gamer Body guy on his channel, he uses the Instar bar. Uh, they're also known for um, their like chest press resistance band kits. And they're also known for ripping off other companies. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, they do a good job of that. But this was kind of an original. I've never seen any. There, there's no comp. The closest thing to this is like the sling trainer. Because this is a dual anchor suspension trainer. Um, uh, and they definitely, as you will see, knocked off the Angles 90 uh, grips. But uh, this is uh, a very, very complicated <laughs> compared to the sling trainer thing. And so that's why it's ultimately uh, uh, when I compare them all. But you can't get this anymore. But it came with uh, two door anchors because dual anchors, uh, it's not just a single anchor point. It's got two anchors, right? It also came with... Uh, two extender straps that also give you not just a drawer option but if you you know uh if you have uh overhead bars or overhead uh ceiling mounts or whatever and the ceiling's super high or if you're hanging from rafters or something super high you've got the extenders uh and then you have you know just the the straps okay and so it's almost like gym rings, except uh, with it's got a cam buckle. The straps are numbered. You know, you got two straps, but you can't pull it all the way out. Uh, it's it it's it's there, and the reason why it's like that is because they want you to be able to you mount the you mount your handles. See, here's the Angles 90 knockoff uh, Instar version. You know, you can mount your your uh, you attach your handles to this one. And then you have this other one here that you can either, you know, you use the uh, the door anchor, or if you need the extender and then the door anchor, you have that option. So, a little bit more of a hassle to set up than because you have to do it twice, right? Um, and then, of course, if you're hanging from a tree branch or something that's uneven the numbers really don't make a difference because you're going to be trying to make the micro adjustments to get them uh, level. But hanging from like ceiling mounts or, or bars or something, yeah, it's the numbering's helpful, but you won't be using that if it's uh, from uneven uh, play, overhead place. Um, but yeah, and of course you've got these handles, which even on their own, now I, I, I prefer... Um, for a lot of things, I prefer the swivel, which is something I had to review from Kinsui. But these, you can you can have different, you know, types of grips. You can leave it like that. You know, uh, it, you can inverse it if you want to. Like that. Or like that. So there's a lot of options with these. These are, like I said, a direct ripoff of Angles 90. I have several ripoffs of Angles 90, and I don't even have a pair of the Angles 90. Even though I love the company, they charge too much for these grips because I don't. These are pretty decent. My other knockoff brand is pretty decent. I do have two sling trainers and three uh, homemade weight nets from the company. So it's not like I'm not supporting you guys, but I mean, 50 bucks for what you can get for 20 elsewhere. Yeah, uh, but these things are a lot of fun. Um, and these are, these type of grips, the one thing that I like about them over the Kinsui swivel grips is the way that you can 
set the straps up the, uh, of the handles, the uh, the swivel, which I don't have in my office here. I have them at home. But they've got that, if you go look at Kinsley's website, they've got the other part of it, you know, that's kind of rounded off up here to where your hand's enclosed. So you can't use them as suspension trainer handles for dips. You can do pull-ups with it. You can do all other suspension trainer handles with it. But these type of handles will let you do dips. And actually what I found is doing dips on these kind of handles as opposed to rings um, is uh, a lot more stable, which means I just need to lay off these and do the rings more until I get bit more stable. But these, um, less stable than parallel bars, but more stable than rings. So when you do dips on these. Well, like I said, with, with all... It, a lot of ins and outs here, right? You have three parts. You have the, the strap, you have this, uh, the, the anchor that you can anchor it to, a door or around a bar, and then you have this. And if you need to, you have this fourth part uh, to extend. So, and then you have to set the whole thing up twice. So, yeah, a little bit uh, convoluted in the setup, but overall, it also gives you a lot of flexibility to where uh, no matter where you are, outside, at a park, at a gym, in a hotel room, at your house, you have a door, you have a ceiling mounts, whatever, you can always find a way to anchor this thing. And so that is a plus, even though it's also a minus because it's a little bit more of a hassle. you know. And then whether or not you consider a single anchor point or a dual anchor point um, a plus, uh, which a dual anchor point, in my opinion, uh, is a plus if you're trying to do dips because a single anchor point in trying to do dips is just you know with the straps coming around your arms and stuff this seems a little bit much um, but whatever I do like this thing um, even though it's probably the most uh, you can get quick at it but it's probably the most cumbersome one uh, to set up uh, out of all the suspension trainers I have now I don't know why they stopped selling it maybe it's because they just made a limited run this is the second iteration that instar has uh, i was i found online they have another suspension trainer device um that you can no longer get so i know that this was the second iteration of a, a suspension or body weight trainer that, th that they've come out with so maybe their next one will be an improved version upon this or maybe they've just given up the ghost uh, on that and they're not coming out with any more but you can't get this or maybe they'll re-release this but this hasn't been available for a long time now so uh this one the only way I, i've never seen them sold secondhand either so i guess the people who did get these love them because you can't find them secondhand but uh i'm getting rid of this during my uh september patreon giveaway no one's claimed it yet so you know if you're a ten dollar or more patron uh, you can you can sign up even just for this month to say hey I want that you know go watch the video in the patron feed and then uh, stop supporting me and you know it's not like I'm gonna get mad about it or whatever I mean you know whatever um, I, I'm not against that I'm not gonna hunt you down or anything I mean, you know but yeah uh, I do like this it's just that I like other things more and so I don't need it um, and they don't they don't make it anymore. So, you know, if you think it's cool, that's the only way I can tell you how to get it is, you know, sign up for at least a month, if uh, not more, at my patreon.com slash Fitness, and, you know, claim it before someone else does. It also came with this uh, elastic resistance band thing that you can attach the handles to and throw in some accessory work that way if you, if you want to. Um, or you can just, uh, you know, you can do basic resistance band movements by hooking it to the door anchor and just using it in the door. So this whole thing, I think, costs like 45 bucks, which I thought was a good deal at the time that I bought it. And I, you know, because I've always enjoyed suspension trainers since I discovered suspension training towards the end of my time at uh, Planet Fitness using the TRX thing. And so I've always been checking these things out. The, the relatively inexpensive ones, except for the TRX that I found for like 20 bucks. Um, and I've also noticed that you can find TRX elites. I thought I got a good deal at 20 bucks, but you can find them for 40 bucks all over Facebook Marketplace. But, you know, it all uh, fits in this uh, handy little bag here. And 
you know, for the price that uh, Angles 90 was selling their grip, or less than the cost of Angles 90 selling their grips, unless you have a sweet discount code, I mean, you get the grips and then you get a whole suspension trainer and elastic band with it, uh, with so many options. And it, you know, like the cheapy China knockoff uh, deal. That's not a bad footprint, you know. It all fits in that bag. So, two things I'd recommend this if uh, it existed, but it no longer exists. The other one I don't recommend, but go check out Wild Jim, the 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 real Pocket Monkey. And if you if you're like me, you thought, man, that 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 does seem like it'd be really cool. That works for me. Um, go check out and buy the original one. Yeah, it's a bit pricey, but they have sales, so you can wait on a sale. So I hope you found this video helpful. It's not really a helpful video because I told you not to buy something and told you you also can't get this, so I don't know how helpful that would be. Hopefully you found it interesting, something to listen to while you're on social media or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but if you like the video, click the like button. If you didn't like the video, click the dislike button. I don't care either way. If you want to support what we're doing at uh, Theology Geek Fitness, you can go to patreon.com slash theologygeekfitness. You'll see workout videos and stuff, full workouts featuring all the types of equipment that I like. So even though you won't see any with this suspension trainer, you will see suspension training workout videos. So you can follow along with whatever suspension trainer you had. You can pay 10 bucks to be a patron just for a month and say, hey, I want that instar thing or hey i want that cheapy china knockoff pocket monkey thing and i'll be like okay fine uh and maybe it'll inspire you to actually get the real one um or maybe this video will inspire you to get the real one because it is a cool concept it's just that knockoff thing is not even worth the 20 dollars i paid for it so but you can have it for 10 if you become a patron and say hey i want that one and it's, both of these are still available anyway uh thanks for watching this video we'll see you in the next one god bless